Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are reacting to Niall Horan and John Legend perform Niall's hit song, The Show, on The Voice, so let's go. Life is like a board game Now, for us, we've never really heard of Niall Horan before The Voice, so I actually look forward to see his performance to see what kind of musician he is or what kind of artist he is. The stage looks super grand, like, it looks, I don't know if it was always this big, but the curtains make it look so much larger, and that's actually a designer trick in your home, if you make sure you put your curtains, you hang it all the way to the top, close to the ceiling, off the, pretty much the ceiling, so the room looks larger in itself, so this is pretty cool effect. Everything was easy. He has such a beautiful voice. I didn't know that's how his style would be. So I'm very impressed so far seeing Niall. I would look into more of his music too to see more of his, you know, his work. I kind of thought that's what he would give. You think so? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Is that flowers? It look like flowers on the floor, or do you think it's just Probably. velvet effect? Like Probably the, I think a carpet. Mm. It's nice. Wow. Now guys, um, we don't know this song in its original form, so let us know if it's, it's John Legend adding more lyrics to a Niall song, or is it just the same lyrics that Niall already had, and it's just John Legend doing his uh, lyrics from Niall Horan. <laughs> how John Legend kind of adapted to Niall's song because he sound he's matching the same sound that Niall has like that 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 sound almost like not country but it's like something about it that's like somewhat paying homage to Niall's sound they do sound like a good duet together mm -hmm. they, they complement each other mm -hmm. Also, I wonder if the original also follows the same flow in terms of instrumentals too as well. I'm so curious. Even like in terms of what they're wearing, they also look like a duet. Like what they're wearing is complementary to each other. They don't um, look like separate artists. I think they're wearing the same clothes as they were as wearing when they were judging. I don't think they mm. had a wardrobe change. Yeah, but I think don't you think they would plan for this performance too? In a sense? Uh, yeah, they definitely planned for. It, yeah, mm. it wasn't like a spur of the moment thing, mm. but uh, I, I don't think they have like a whole wardrobe change mm -hmm. for this though i don't know but they're just wearing regular suits i feel like mm -hmm. that's I, think what the, I think that's what they were wearing when they were sitting as as judges though i think the theme was to be like simple suits because even the background singers they're wearing like you know pretty much uniform in a sense it's like no one's wearing like bright colors like pink or bright green you know 
Well, it, that wouldn't make sense if the backups out wearing the mains. They have to kind of just mm -hmm. blend in. They they can't be the focus of the show. So yeah. But imagine like the all the other performances uh, shows we've seen. They never like look the same in terms of fashion. Yeah, but they were competing. They're not competing. They're just performing. No, I, I think th they I, did coordinate this. I think for for the other guys, the, the guys that were competing. The guys and girls they they have to like stand out and your outfit is one of the ways to stand out well i thought the the one with huntley on uh, ruby and jordan they were seeing country and they kind of have the same kind of theme of outfits going on and i want to reflect back on uh nini uh my mara and then i forgot the other person who was in this one as well they, uh, Jackie they kinda had like they kinda had Jack like a Moore. kinda like a theme of what to wear. Like it wasn't when they're in groups, they definitely didn't wear like drastically different outfits. I feel like there's some no, sort of cohesion. In, in groups, yeah, it makes yeah. sense that they were matching. Yeah, because yeah, it's a performance mm -hmm. together. But I think here it's the consider obviously it's like a group performance, like a duet. You know? We're still not ready for the ride. If everything was easy, nothing ever broke. If everything was simple, how do we know? How to fix your kids, how to break your show. I wonder if he's country. Do you get country vibes from this a little bit? Oh, Nile? Yeah. The song, at least. I'm getting Ed Sheeran. You're getting Ed Sheeran yeah. vibes? Oh, I clicked. Hey, Amen. They know. Niall's hit I think song. they performed this while they were waiting for the results to be counted. Ah, oh, yeah, that kinda, would make sense. To kind of kill time. Yeah. So that was Niall's hit song, The Show, performing in the voice. Let's see what it says in the comments. Perfecto. Niall is getting better with oh, age. He's from One Direction. He is? I did not recognize him. Um, Wait. I don't even, I just know he looks so grown. I remember One Direction as a young, you know, boy group. Yeah, but that was like a decade ago. Yeah, time goes by really fast. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't even know. I'm like, that's probably why the, his name was like throwing me off. Like, where would I have known him? What the fuck? What happened? Niall and John are sticking like Oreos. What does that mean? Um, anyways, guys, let us know what you think down in the comments down below. As always, we made it this far. Feel free to check out our playlist to see our previous reactions to The Voice. And, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the gang. And as always, as always, share as much kindness as possible. Bye, guys.